want to create an introduction that looks like this, where the video is appearing behind your text, watch here. Open up a new CapCut project. I already have a video imported into my project. And what I want to do now is head over to the website called Canva, where I'm going to create some text. On your Canva project, open up a 16 by 9 canvas. I'm going to make the background of my canvas a dark red. And then I'm going to add some text. Just typing in trains. Because my video is going to be an introductory to trains. Now size it as big as possible. And make sure the font is a very bold font. Change the color of your font to a yellow. Now at the bottom, go to Effects and choose Outline. This will give two different lines that we can work with. I'm going to adjust the color of the lines to make the line white with the text yellow. Export the image and make sure you're choosing a JPEG or PNG. Back inside your CapCut project, go ahead and import that clip. On the bottom, choose Cutout. Choose Chroma. And now we want to pick the yellow. Now increase the intensity so only the inside turns black, but you can still see the white outline. With your text clip still highlighted at the bottom, click Overlay. This will drop it to the bottom. And now make the length of your bottom clip as long as your video clip. Now you can see the video running inside of your words on your page. Now you can see the video running inside of your words on your page. Get out. Now I'm going to show you how to take it another level up. Add two keyframes, one being at the very end and zoom all the way in on the last keyframe. Check it out. Another great idea for an introduction transition would be to add an uh, animation to this page. So go to animation and choose split side. Check it out now. Now with your text highlighted, click blend. This is another really neat feature to be able to change the look of your background. For this specific project, I really like the one that says hard. I think it makes a really cool red look. And also the one that says filter, which gives it a reddish pink, but the words are still clear. Check it out. 